first started writing bars, um, I was just really writing in my no in my phone, you know, notes and just rhyming with words and stuff. And um, one day out of the blue, my friends like, like, man, G, you gotta get for real, like, like, G, you cold, you know, like just telling me stuff like that. And I took it like, like, man, they write like, G, I'm finna try to get in the studio. That's when I hit Chief Keith up on uh MySpace and asked him like, like. How do he go back doing, like, putting his songs on YouTube? Because he was doing it a lot. And, uh, he told, he, that's how I got hooked up with DJ Ken. And he basically just, you know, put us in tune. Then I went to DJ Ken's studio and just, you know, ripped my first song, What We Do. And that's how I met Chief Key, Fredo SD. And after that, like, when I finished recording, everybody in the studio was just telling me, like, man, G, you go hard. Like, like you dope. Like, that's raw, you know? And I'm like, man, it was, it was, I felt so good at the moment because I never had, like, people to just tell me, like, what I was doing was so, you know, so raw. So, after that, I just kept going back, and I never stopped, like, I just never stopped. Man, like, it was so different in my, uh, house, my, my house because, like, my brothers and sisters, we was always close, brought up together, and I just hit my big sister, my big brother, Playing like Mary J. Blast, Lauren Hill, Aaliyah, and Look Kim. And it's just like I picked it up. Like, and it's like Look Kim is like one of my like my favorite artists, like still, because you know, like she talk real stuff and she just you know, like she don't care. She do like she do what makes her happy and it's like that's that's kinda motivation. Oh lane. Yes. Give me a cup, don't wanna feel a thing. Yes. Yeah, um, man, like when I made On Lane song, I was just like thinking about my family. Like I was just thinking about my family, you know, like just the, how I want them to be so good. Like they don't have to ask for nothing. Like they don't have to worry anymore, work. Like I just, this is why I grind like for my family. Like I have a very, very, very close family. Like all of just like those, like, they my friends, my my love, you know, like whatever you want to call it. Like we just close. And listening to the beat, it kind of put me in a mood to just talk about how I want my family to be good. And that's like kind of motivating me to write that type of song on lane. Yeah. Working woman's anthem. Yes. Please, please tell me about that one. Man, like give no fuck like was just a song to let people know like, I'm going to get it regardless. I'm not going to care who mad, who don't want, who wants me to stop. Like, it's just like a go get it song. Like, gr growing up, like, in high school, like, I don't, I thought females was my friends. And, you know, like, they, they cross me. And I'm the type of person, like, I'm not no phony type person. If I put, if, if, if you're my friend, you're my boyfriend, you're my family you know like i'm gonna give you my all like i'm gonna give you my trust and my loyalty and my heart and if you cross it like like you just shut me down like you let you, you let me know that you're not like you don't deserve it like and it hurts like people don't know like it hurts and that kind of motivate me to right exactly like it, it kind of like motivates me to not give no fuck about nothing like I just keep going, F all the BS that happened in my past, like, it's just motivation. At the end of the day, it's motivation and get money. Um, Spaz Out was, was actually on my Nutty World mixtape. I love the song, like, it's just some Chicago type music, and that's what I tried to go, you know, that's what I was going with, with the Nutty World mixtape for Chicago, the drill scene, and, uh... It was just a fun day, like, I invited my family out, friends, and everybody just came out, and we just having a fun, fun time on cars, standing on top of cars. I was scared, like, I didn't want to get on top of the car, but they made me get on top of the car, so it was like... That's iconic, though. That yes. Yes. Talk to me about Zero, because you just did one. Yes. yes. Talk to me about Zero. Shout out Dreezy, my sus, and shout out Katie. Let's get it. Okay. Um... Me and Dre, like, all three of us got some type of relationship, like, outside of, um, the music thing, you know, like, I've been new KD before, like, all of this even came about, like, before we both was rapping, and, uh, Dreezy just basically hit us up, like, yeah, sis, you, I, I want you on this song, like, I got the song Zero, I had heard the song before she even, like, wanted to make it a remix or whatever, I'm like, yeah, this dope, so, and, uh, she just reached out to us, and we just, like, like, let's get it, you feel me, like, 
hopped on the song and we just turned into something that we did a video for. Yes, like it was a like a good time. Like I love them because everybody like expect us to just be against each other and not talking and right. I promise you, but one thing y'all can say about all us like we don't let none of that like just. We, like, I don't even think it's inside our minds that, dang, these people don't want us talking because we too real for it. You know, like, we just cool. Like, it's just natural coolness. Like, I could call Dreezy right now and what you doing, sis, and not even talk about music. That's just the type of relationship we have. Um, one of my favorite songs off my Nutty Real mixtape is called I'm the Type. It's a turn up song. Shout out to Hayes. Um, he in Florida producing for me. And, uh, I'm gonna do a video for it when I come back from my European tour. So get ready for that. We turning up. Let's get it. You know what? Um, I'm an ink fanatic. <laughs> I just get like, well, I'm like as I each day go back, I, I just start like fading away from Ken about tattoos because it. The pain hurts, like it still hurts. Everybody be like, hey, you got 30 some tattoos and it still hurt. Like, yes, it still hurts. But when I had got the cupcake, I was basically getting something different. Um, some girly, you know, like and I had looked at my tattoo man book and he like, man, like G you should get a cupcake. You know, like just get a cupcake. And I didn't know like like why should I get it? I just like, okay, give me a cupcake. Cause like I like being creative. I always been a, a the, the girl out of my mom kids to be like creative and experience more things, different things and stuff. So I'm like, just give me a cupcake. <laughs> yeah. Man, like I got a lot of I got a lot of young uh fans like that's in, that's still in high school. And, um, they rock with me, you know, like, they, they rock with me, they're in tune with my music, and it's a blessing to have a connect that, you know, that somebody hit you up, like, man, you know, like, I want you to come to this high school, that high school, that high school, to okay, speak right. to the students, yeah, like, like, they hit me up for it, nice. and I'm like, man, like, that's cool, like, yes, I'm, I definitely want to go to a high school and, and talk to the kids, and, like, every time I go, like, the kids just be interested in just finding out my life story, and I, you know what, I 100% give it to them, whatever they want, I tell them, like, feel free to ask me anything, it's just some schools I go to, and they just be so happy, and so, like, you know, motivated into music, and you know, like it, it just feel good. Like it's a feeling I never felt before, for real. Okay. Yes, yeah, so my my first time going to London, um, I performed at the Fabric Club, and it was just one like I noticed a lot of people just turning up with me, but there was one girl in particular that just stood out in like compared to everybody else and she she knew all my words and and all my dance moves and it was crazy because i'm like man like she rocking with me i shook her hand like just to show her like i like i see you like i see you rocking with me and then after the show like she she walked up to me like man gee i love you i drove all the way here How long did she drive? i think she said like two or three hours yeah that's probably what she said <laughs> She drove a minute, like, just to see me. I'm like, man, she, like, you good? You know, like, I always ask people, like, is they good, what they want? Cause, you know, like, I get whatever I want, like, for us, the riders and stuff. And, um, she like, yeah, I'm just so happy to see you, G. Like, I'm like, man, G, like, I appreciate all the love, but she had drove five hours to come see me. From Manchester. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Manchester. She drove five hours from Manchester to see me in London, and it was it felt so good. Like I had to make sure that she was straight. You know, like I couldn't. Well, I told her whatever you want, let me know. Like you can have whatever you want, because I appreciate. It. You know, like it. It makes me feel a way I never felt before. Like I never saw none of this coming. Like I was London European tours and everything. So like I appreciate it. Shout out to Sasha. You know who I'm talking about from Manchester. <laughs> Man, like, it's so important, like, to just be able to have a Twitter, Instagram, Facebook to promote, like, to show fans love and, like, just, like, show people you appreciate that they rocking with you. And, um, you know, like, just to get out there, like, 
And I haven't, when I, when I first started, I used to be like anxious to that. Like, man, I'm finna try to get a deal. Like, I wanna get a deal. That's what I'm doing it for. Like, a deal, a deal, a deal. You know, like, that was the main thing. But I learned, like, in, in most situations, like, a deal, like, not as, it's not really as important. Like, most people make it seem like it's good, you know, for some people, but, like, you could do so much stuff without a deal. Like, you could run your own show. You could get more money, you know, like, and just be free, like. Like, when people, like, be hitting me up and, and or see me up in person, like, and they'll just show me, like, man, like, I, I love you, G. Like, I'm in love with you as an artist, a person. Like, I just love you. And, and when I respond to them or, or uh, you know, re share the respect and the love that they share for me, like, people just be so amazed and so happy. Like, it may, it kind of made me want to cry because, like, these people have no idea, like, who I who I'm really is. You feel me? Like, they just know Sasha go hard and she raps. You feel me? Like, and for them to just rock with me like that, like, it's, it's like, it's not a sad moment. It's just a happy moment. Like, man, like, these people don't know me. Like, it's people who knew me for years and hate me and hate what I'm doing right now. Like, just, just on some hate stuff. So, to see, like, my fans just in love with me and just support me, like, it feels so good. Like, it's, like, the best feeling ever. And, like, it, you know, like, the number one thing is, like, it's motivation. Like, it keeps me going. Like, I'll never stop just just to make sure that they happy. Yeah, man, you know who it is. It's your girl, Sasha Gohart. Shout out to my girl, Paula, from Group Paula TV. Get in tune with her right now. We turning up. Let's get it.